Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point Legend Blind Playthrough. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our escapade here in Phoenix Point. I think our personal is quite depleted on stamina. So we will need to move back to the base. And wait there for now. Double checking. Uh, Drank still is missing some hit points. I still haven't figured out how to get more soldiers. Something is a bit odd. One, two, three, research four. complete. Good, so we got new research. Let's see. Chirons were first described as a cross between a beetle and an artillery launcher. That's the guy that we've killed. Poison worms, yes. Phoenix Archive, we have a bunch of encrypted files for a newly reclaimed phoenix base according to the file names these are phoenix archives or what remains of them mm -hmm. okay one day haven recruitment protocols that sounds more like something i would want to do yes please let's start with recruiting new soldiers living quarters how long does it take Hit points for Jaranx are almost back to full. Let's wait for one more hour. Fully healed. Okay, cool. Which means we can move and explore the next site. Take as many items from crates as you can safely manage and evacuate your squad. Enemy reinforcements will arrive continuously from the areas marked with the symbol. Ooh, scavenger site. I like it. Uh, let's get ready and deploy our beloved squad. Okay, so this is our evac zone. Got a couple of crates. One, two, three, four. What I like about the game, let us let me already share a couple of first impressions uh, because I, I want to make sure to succinctly formulate my thought process. So, first of all, graphics, great. Uh, can certainly work on par with XCOM 2. A little bit different comic -y style, but I like it. It's, it's good. It plays absolutely fluent so they have definitely worked on the engine i like compared to gears tactics that you can clearly see where everything is happening in gears tactics i always had kind of the feeling i needed to have a microscope and look uh, look out for all the little details and at the end it just was hidden somewhere here i can see we got one two three four five crates potentially not going to get all of them but just saying they are available and they are quite clearly marked so how about we have dash right and dash costs willpower We also got the good old jump jet. Which could already bring us to here. Executing. Yep, I think that's the right move. No action point cost. You ran magazine. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we're now ha highly encumbered. Well, doesn't matter, does it? We have jump jets if need be. We could jump jet out of uh, there. Cool, that's one. I can do it. That's two. And Ian already finds the first enemy. Right in here. I wasn't aware that uh, there were already enemies waiting. Dash would be such a good ability for a sniper. Want to full cover? And Drenks begins to free aim. We could hit the legs, that would be fantastic. This guy looks like a melee opponent. And we've just killed his head, bleeding for 10, and it's disabled. It limps all the way over here, okay, cool. a shot and let's get this guy here shall we <laughs> oh nice hit like it ready to rock okay what do we have a missed head, bleeding 10, willpower, max hit points, spawns missed, torso. Max hit points minus 80 and I think that head actually makes the most sense. Moving up. Keep it together, operative. Can't yet kill that Miss Sentinel. Okay. Ian moves further forward. Yeah, that's a kill. That's a kill. I already said that, Ian. Thank you for repeating what I said. Can't wait. Ah. 
I bet it hurts, didn't it? Okay, not sure. I think we've killed it. Almost. More enemies. Still need to go and take down. Go and take down uh, some more crates. We got one, two crates there, three crates. Not sure if we can get that one. Looks like a bit of a stretch target. Medkit, yes, please. Material pack. Okay, we found a few more enemies. Already there. Should a realm could try to shoot and kill that big guy which is helpful now there's a tree in the way if we unfortunately hit something else but that was not good drinks moves up Chances here are relatively low. I don't want to use a grenade though. Move over here. Let's rock. And from here on we can move forward. Full cover. Oh no 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 no! These are the mines. No, I didn't know that. Well. <clears throat> okay, so what now? The mind triggers definitely need to die first. That's completely unacceptable. Here comes the Phoenix. I've got this. Ten hit points. Oof. Does high ground? 
give us any form of the uh, of aim bonus. Well, that certainly worked out nicely. Moving over here. into full cover and we can't do anything with one AP other than overwatching which we don't want to do. So what happens with that mind control? See, it seems as if we can hit that mind fragger directly. I see them. Oh boy, another one of these. Dragon's 96 hit points. Not great. Okay, we don't need the magazines. I take the grenade. Yes, please. Not again. we get up here with a ladder okay cool well Ian moves over I think we'll get that one more chest I I'm not that keen and getting overrun Overwatch just in case someone comes from there. Oh, 
those mine fragrances are bad news. Identifying target. Fantastic hit. On the move. Love it. Perfect shot. Durang's reloads. to the Ian moves up but somehow I can't really move up there potentially takes too long maybe that recover ability isn't too bad both points already at maximum okay Well, if that's the case... Okay, we can move out from here. Overwatching. And end the turn. Ian moves up. Spotted a couple of enemies. Lining up a shot. One immediately dies thanks to Shattered Realm. Billy G moves up. Ready to fire. Free aim. Killed the torso, that is helpful. And getting that guy down. Dranks moves up. And overwatches. They're not getting past me. I like the assault class. They are fast and quite versatile. Sniper also seems good. On the move. Still need to find the right utilization for the assault, uh, for the heavies. Well, that's too good to not take it with us, Ready. which means moving in. Jaranks needs to move up. I'm going. Ian keeps everyone safe in the meantime. And we're slowly but surely moving to the exit with Dilly. This time letters are made more realistic, it actually takes some more time to uh, to get up.
Okay, cool. Already there. Executing. Good, we're almost out of here. I like the dash ability. I figured it would have been a bit further even, but if we improve speed, so should the dash ability improve just this part Dashing of it. Ahead. No rest for the weary. I'll try and get there. Moving. Okay, not bad for... A scavenger mission. Wait, if you heal up until the end of the mission, you are not injured? Did I understand that correctly? Okay, relationships with factions cannot progress to supportive until you complete their diplomacy mission. Whatever that is, but good to know. We recovered an Origin MG mission, uh, magazine. We recovered a couple of grenades, many med packs, and 600 resources. Yes, replenish all. Cool. Personal. Definitely need to get the stamina back up. First and foremost, we got a level. And here we have Brawler. Get a melee weapon proficiency and perform bash and melee attacks with 50% increased damage. Or cautious. 20% bonus accuracy and minus 10% damage dealt. I think we're taking that straight away, even though it means no further upgrades, but his biggest problem is not hitting shit. And we want to change that ASAP. All right, Ian the Butcher Owens. Should get some more, some more strength. With all of that extra strength, I'm wondering. Second grenade certainly makes sense, but what else? Hmm. We don't have the breadth of equipment yet. Six SP here. I think a little bit more strength uh, can't hurt for now. Not sure if I'm prioritizing uh, too high, but 
more hit points are actually quite helpful. And we got our sniper, Dilly G. Overwatch cost reduced by one action point. That is good. That is very good. Which means we can move and overwatch with two action points instead of three. Additionally, we do have a bit of SPs uh, left over, which I think we're going into strength and willpower. Can also increase speed later, but for now, uh, he can certainly benefit from having more ammunition here. He can certainly benefit from more ammunition. Well, so far we're okay with uh, the soldiers. Need to get them back to base again because they are quite exhausted. How's the person looking? Not ready yet. Oh yeah, we do have hit point damage. Uh, I want to heal that first. We can now recruit soldiers from Havens. Where do I recruit? Personal? Recruits. Available in three days. Good, research. Arthur and Autopsy. Quite a few autopsies, really. Haven Trade Protocol. Disciples of Enu. Okay. I'm wondering, like. My gut tells me the autopsies might be good. But my XCOM background tells me all of the autopsies were a distraction from what's really happening. So I wonder... What they would actually bring. We could witness the emergence of several new types of um, Pandoran. Hmm. The archives also sound interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to get the uh, the ones that have immediate effects. I think we're going with the archives. I hope that that is something like the communication relay where we can expand, maybe get a second base or something. In terms of bases, living quarters are still going. So the question is, what else can we buy? Research lab. Would potentially speed up the research. Fabrication plant. We already have that. Training facility. All soldiers at the base. We'll gain two experience points per hour for each training facility. And more medical base means that they are back in action quicker. I think we're going with another medical bay. Yes, please. And I would like to build a training facility. Not sure if we can excavate the rest here. But that sounds good. I mean, currently, really, the time that we're spending not in combat is keeping us, keeping us away. And me not being experienced in this game means we're just taking a few hits here and there. 134. 
Okay. Hundred forty six. Okay, almost done. We're now fully healed and rested. Let's move to the next explorable site. A disciple of a new haven. Population 9,000. Oh, we got recruits available. Well, we'll, we'll wait. Recruits available in three days. Here it says. Recruit available at Haven. Okay, we're moving there. Recruit a soldier. Oh, yeah. Cool. What else is in here? 12,000. Military strength, 18. 15,000 food supply. No mist in here. Substantial populations belonging either to New Jericho or Disciples of Anu have elite residential districts for their ruling class. Okay, cool. Good for you. We don't want to raid them. So far they are generally friendly, so there's no point in raiding them. But we got a new person. Nicholas uh, Lanjou. Let me... First and foremost, what kind of class is he? Berserker. Ooh. Melee weapons and handguns. Um, yeah, let me find a real name for him. Okay, decided to make uh, that one Grell because uh, she's a longtime subscriber and uh, comments quite a lot. So, Miss Grell, there you go. You've just been drafted. We got an axe. Quite a beefy one, I might say. A few med kits and a grenade. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a good idea to have a melee character here, but we're going to find out. Berserkers seem to be proficient with melee weapons and handguns. What's this? I wonder if we can get a handgun. Okay, so we got that. Recruit available at Haven. We're going to move here. Haven info. Don't have enough food. Okay, got you. Well, that's fair. Let's explore what else is out there. More disciples of Anu. Okay, we better get on their good side because holy, they have us surrounded. Research complete. After recovering the base and analyzing the data banks, they have been left functional. It is clear that Phoenix Point is now the only operating phoenix base there may be other bases out there but we will need to find them and bring them back online there's no sign of randolph symes the third but he left something potentially useful for us which is randolph symes was the last leader of the phoenix project his great grandfather had been there when it was founded and he was there to witness its end when we took back phoenix point we found his notes in his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he'd been working frantically to understand the Pandora virus. Somewhere, 
in the complicated history of the project, in decades of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted. But perhaps, if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him, and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. Okay. What happened to Dr. Symes? Randolph's note indicate the existence of a private retreat owned by Symes' family, used to place uh, medication and research, may contain information. We should send our operatives to investigate. Oh yeah, we will do. Next up, disciples of Anu, because I need the food in order to get a new recruit. At the Synadrium Haven of New Athene, the situation is tense. Someone figured out that our open and democratic society would be easy to infiltrate and steal from us, one of the Haven citizens tells the operatives. They pretended to join us and then made off with some critical research, which I assume they want to sell to another faction. <sighs> the citizen signs. It said they made off, but the truth is they didn't get very far. In fact, they are stuck in the Haven. But as you can imagine, it's a strange situation. These people pretend to be our friends. They lived in New Athene for a month. All just to make profit. I suspect old habits die hard. We could assist the Synhydrian with the problem. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the next episode. If you are a friend of the Synhydrian, you might want to go and do the critical research around the like button, because that will bring back their critical uh, data and hype the video up. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.